So it begins like this, open second string, open first string. And then I go third finger on that second fret, and then pinky will go to that third fret plus the middle finger on the second fret fourth string. So you've got this. We have a pickup note there. It starts on the end of three. So when you count it, you go one, two, three, and four, and one. So first full measure, you've got this, open third, open second. And then we go down to the second fret on that first string, and then we go back up to the third fret plus the open five. Open third, first finger on the C first fret second string. All right, the second full measure, we are gonna be in the second position. Um, I've got my middle finger on that G, which is the third fret. You play that note plus the open four. And then I go to the fifth fret, and then down to the second fret, and then open first. Those are all eighth notes, so it goes. And then we have this. So the chord is actually a G major seventh chord. I don't put my middle finger down because I don't need it, but I'll hit those outer two strings, followed by open third, open second. So that measure goes like this. And then that last measure of that line, we've got third finger on the C, and then I have my first finger still on that second fret on the first string. And then my pinky goes to the third fret, open first string, third fret, second string. So the first half of that measure goes like this. And the second half, we're gonna go open five, open one. And then these two are gonna go down. And then pinky goes right there. This is an A sus chord. So that second half goes like this. All right, so the first line sounds like this. You're gonna go one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. All right, measure four. I go ahead and form a B7 chord. Even though I don't use that pinky, but I still usually put it down. So you have this. So you're gonna hit the second string, fifth, fourth, third, and then second string again. And that ends the first uh, little section. It's then gonna repeat with a slight change at the end. And on the repeat, I play the melody with harmonics. So I go, with artificial harmonics. So I go like this. And then um, it's gonna be the same 
as what we had in the first full measure, again, except for the harmonics. Measure eight is where it changes. So instead of going to a B7 chord like we did at the end of the first section, we're going to an E minor chord. And the harmonic is up here. Technically, it's a natural harmonic. You can play it like this. But since I have my fingers down here playing an E minor chord, I go ahead and use my right hand at that 12th fret to get that note. So you have this. All right, so then if I look at the end of measure eight, we go open second string, just like the beginning. And again, the left hand will be the same or very similar to what we had in the beginning. It's just the right hand you're using that tremolo. And measure 10 is where it changes a little bit. Uh, instead of playing a bass note with the thumb, you play that first one, open four, but then the thumb will now hit the first string along with the other fingers. So you have. So again, slowly it's gonna go. And then we have that G major seventh chord. And then the third finger goes here. Pinky goes. And this is another case where the thumb will then also hit that first string. And then it goes open. And then we're going to go pinky on the third fret. And again, we're doing that tremolo all on that same string. And then open five. All right, so measure 11 sounds like this. You have this. And then measure 12, we have that B7 chord. All right, and so after that, you're gonna move up to the seventh fret with the pinky. And I hit the open second string with my thumb. And then I do a crescendo in the second half of measure 12. So I bring it soft up to loud. So that measure goes like this. Measure 13, I get the B here. Instead of the open second string, I hit the fourth fret on that third string. Part of it just, I can make that note louder. Because that's, I want that note to be loud. And I can also add some vibrato to it. To get that vibrato, I'm pulling down, back to sort of the normal position and then down and then back down like that so you get this this type of thing all right and then the melody is going to be played for the most part in octaves with the left hand so after you do this you've, you're going to do tremolo with the thumb hitting the third string and then the fingers hitting the first string up to the ninth fret up to the twelfth fret so again, you start at the 4th fret, ninth fret, 12th fret. All right, so measure 14, we are at the 12th position. We're going to hit the open 6th string, uh, tremolo, thumb hits the 3rd string. Then you bring it back, 1 fret, and then back to where you were. So that measure slowly goes like this. All right, so measure 15. I'm still, I'm in this position right here, 12th fret. I hit the open fourth string and then the first string with the tremolo. And then we move it up to the 14th fret. So first finger's at the 14th. And then down to the 11th fret. First finger's at the 11th fret. And the first finger moves down to the ninth fret, back up to the eleventh fret, and you're gonna stay there. 
right, so slowly that measure goes like this. All right, so measure 16, we're still at the 11th fret. Go up to the 12th, down to the 9th, down to the 7th, back up to the 9th, and then finally you go down to the 7th. So slowly measure 16 goes like this. Alright, measure 17. We are at the ninth position, so the first finger is here, thumb hits the sixth string, and then third string. Then we move to the middle section of the piece. So far the piece has just taken that basic melody and then repeated it with the same basic chord progression. Now we're going to go to a middle part, we get into some different chords, we actually get some notes outside of the scale we've been playing this whole time. So you're going to start off 7th position, you're going to hit 7th fret on the 2nd string, and then 8th fret, and then 10th fret on the 1st string. So again it's... Alright, and then you do a bar. You're going to do a bar at the 8th fret, and then your middle finger will be on the 9th fret on the 3rd string. This is actually a C major chord. So you're going to hit, the, the thumb will hit the 6th string, the 3rd, 2nd, and 1st string. Your fingers will hit those. And I will often roll that chord. Followed by hitting the 2nd string, 3rd string, back to the 1st string. So we get it. And then I hit that again, the 12th fret on the 1st string. And then I move up to the 14th fret. And then my middle finger goes down to the 10th. And then my first finger goes down to the eighth, like that. So it slowly goes. All right, measure 19. We're going to form this chord. It's just like a D minor chord, except we're going to have it with the first finger at the tenth fret. And you're going to hit those three strings, followed by the second string and the third string. So it goes, open 6th string, and then we're going to go back to the 7th fret here, 8th fret, and then the 1st finger will get the 7th fret on that 1st string. So slowly that measure goes, alright then half bar at 5, pinky is going to be at the 8th fret, and you're going to hit thumb hits the 5th string, the fingers hit the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd strings. Followed by the 2nd string, and followed by the 3rd string. So again. Then you hit the 1st string, and then we hit it again with the open 4, move it up to the 10th fret, middle finger goes down to the 7th, 1st finger goes right there. So that measure slowly is going to go... So 7th fret, with that 1st finger, open 3, open 2, followed by the 2nd string and the 3rd string. So again, it's going to go 1 and 2. Then you're going to hit that 3rd string again. So that's a repeat of what we had in measure 18. So again, you've got, you're on the 2nd string, 7th fret, 8th fret, pinky goes to the 10th. Now we're going to go up here to the 12th, and we're going to go a C-sharp right here. So that's going to be the 9th fret on the 6th string. So again, you've got this. And you hit that 1st string, and again. And then it goes up to the 14th fret, and then down to the 10th, and then now to the 9th fret, like that. All right, so that measure goes one, two, and three, and four, and. All right, measure 23. We have this chord again. Um, it's the same chord that we had in measure 19. 
and then you hit the second and third string. So one and two. Then you hit that first string again. Now we're gonna hit this plus open six, twelfth fret, eighth fret, seventh fret. So again, it's gonna go. So that measure again goes like this: one and two and three and four and we've had this chord before in measure 24 so half bar at five pinkies at the eighth and then we're going to go open three middle finger is going to go that eighth fret pinky goes to the tenth and then pinky goes down to the seventh second finger goes to the fifth fret on that first string so that measure again goes one and two, three and four and next measure, we have this. So pinky is on the seventh fret, first finger is on that F sharp, which is on that fourth fret. So you've got this, and you go down to here, B second fret, fifth string. So you hold this for two beats, one, two, three, Now we're back to the beginning. All right, so I'll play that line slowly. Uh, begin at measure 23. We got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then it just repeats what we had at the very beginning. So being at measure 27, this is all a repeat. All right, beginning at measure 29, we have this. So we've seen that before. And in the melody is in the bass. So we got second fret on the fifth string, fourth string, third finger goes to that fourth fret and then the pinky is going to go to the fifth fret plus the open six and I really try and add some vibrato to that and then you go down to that fourth fret back up to that fifth fret now open five so slowly it goes one two and three four all right measure 31 we're going to go open three open four first finger goes to the second fret on that third string third finger goes there and then i lay these two down so second finger is on that g third fret and then third finger is on the fourth fret on the fourth string so you've got this now i keep my third finger where it's at and i just put my my middle finger just on that fourth string open third string first finger goes to that second fret open so again it's good and you have open five plus the first finger on that second fret fourth string open four and then two e's all right so 31 32 and 33 sound like this of it is uh, just harmonics just this little line so artificial harmonics second fret on the first string so with this your 12 frets higher and then I go to the third fret open first string third fret on the second string and then my middle finger goes to that B I hit that note plus the open first and then my pinky hits the third fret on that second string so slowly it goes one and two and three and four and and the last thing is open six string harmonics at the 12th fret the first second and third string and I use my fingers there so you've got this and then you just let it ring